As you can see, here's a stitch that I'm showing lately on my projects. For example, on the Pikachu here, the cheeks here. So actually filming right now part number one of the Pikachu. So also the flower here, this stitch here, and of course uh, the espion here. But this one is seam stitch, but including an end stitch that I'm going to show in part number two of this video. So I'm splitting this video into two parts. And I did already a few videos about this stitch already, so one of them including pictures. So if you follow where the pictures on that video and uh, you understand the pictures, so probably you managed to make the stitch. If not, uh, here is another video for you. And of course, um, you won't manage if you don't practice. So please practice and please watch the parts that I say that it's important. All the description be down below and let's begin. Okay, so first we need to cut three different colors of strings. I'm going to choose two of those and make a box stitch. But there are two box stitches. So there are two different box stitches. You can, as you can see, this one, the string that is next to me here is on the right. The string here is on the left. So there are two box stitches. Therefore, we need to choose one of these to make uh, our stitch. So I'm going to choose the left one. And also, before I continue, also, there are two sti uh, hexagon stitches. You can see this one, for example, and this one are different from each other. You can see uh, this one, this string here is from left to right here. And this one is from right to left, it's opposite to each other. So we need to keep in mind that, uh, we need to keep in mind that thing. So. Uh, it's very important right now that you stick with me right now and sh I'll show you how to make the, uh, the first stitch. So you find the center of the two strings. And you're going to choose one of the two out of the two box stitches. And I'll take this string and put it on the left. So this is very important, okay? So make sure that this string is on the, on the left and this string is on the right here, right side, left side. So this direction is on the left, this direction is on the right, and now we can continue. And we have, uh, I call it a left hand box stitch, because the string that points towards you here, or here, or here, or here, is on the left. Okay, so next, we need to take the gray string and add it to the stitch here. But again, we need to um, explain something. Uh, for example, this string, this turquoise string is from left to right, you can see, from left to right, and he's more closer to me than this string, the other turquoise string that goes from right to left and so goes to the green strings. This string that goes from left to right is closer to me than this string that goes from right to left. And also when going to add the gray string, we need to do the same thing. So he will be from left to right, it will be closer to me. So let's now just add the string and then I'll show you what I'm meaning. So how do I just, how, first, yeah. So first we need to flip the box stitch upside down. Okay, and now we can add the gray string either in between here and here or in between here and here. Okay, so choose one of these. I'll stick with this. It really doesn't matter. And what's, what's, once it's inside, make sure it's at the center going to flip it again and we have a gray string and we need to weave now a gray string. So as I said before, the closest, the closest side will be from left to right because you can see again the, gray str the green string here 
is closer to me and it goes from left to right. This screen is far away from me, away from me, and it goes from right to left. So it will be the same thing for this screen. From left to right, it goes from left to right, it will be closer to me. This one will be from right to left and it will be away from me. So how do I add this gray string? It's pretty simple, just going to put this gray string at the center, like that. Okay, do it very slowly now, so you can see what I'm doing. Basically, we going over this turquoise in this screen, and under this turquoise in this screen. Something like that. And again, he's going from left to right, so we need to make sure that he's closer than me, to me. So it needs to be like that. So this this string is from right to left, will be from right to left, it needs to be away from me, and this screen needs to be closer to me. So make sure this gray string is like that, is over here. And this gray string is over here. And next we're going to weave this gray string. The same idea, we need to get over this turquoise and this green and under this green and the other turquoise, this one. So right through the center of the stitch. As you can see. Okay, and that's it. We got our stitch. And the only thing we need to do now is to pull all the strings. Again, if you uh, then manage making the stitch, please maybe try to uh, rewind the stitch and make it slower. Like go here in the options and go um, half speed or even a quarter speed so you can see what I'm doing even slower. So that is it for this video, but before I'm going to say goodbye, I wanted to clarify something that there are, again, I said earlier that there are two possible hexagon stitches. One is completely the opposite to another. And don't worry, by continuing this stitch, making some box stitches, you'll see that you end up with the two stitches, that you first end up with this, and then you end up with the opposite of this, and then you end up with this, and then the opposite of this, and etc. So, also in part, we're going to show you how to make the end stitch. And yeah, so, until next time.